Hey folks, Tech Tucker here. In today's video, we do have a bit of a CEX roulette right here. Again, can't complain with these items. Since uh, last week's video, when I got a lot of the vouchers, I have ordered some games. And uh, it's only a few games, two more expensive titles in here, one lesser expensive title here. But without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty then, so we've got the first game here, and uh, it is a 360 title, one that I saw a YouTuber recently pick up, uh, Super Smash Gaming YT, uh, go subscribe. Um, I've had this game in a list that I wrote well over a year ago now, that I've finally bit the bullet on. Um, it feels heavy, so I'm hoping it's uh, complete, because um, it showed a pretty nice uh, thing that it came with too, which don't want to ruin it. <laughs> but um, I'm terrible at opening this box, as you can see. Oh, there's no invoice or anything, I hope it's inside this, but it is Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z Special Edition. It feels weighty, so... Oh, yes! And it's complete. Yes, get in. So, it was this little comic that made me actually pull the trigger. This little comic it comes with. Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z. Wow, this is cool. This is a game I've been waiting a long time to actually pick up. I'll, if I've not done it already, I'll show a screenshot of the Wii list. <laughs> But um, this game was uh, about five, six pounds a year ago, and uh, now it's climbed up. So it's got the manual here as well. I'm just hoping the condition of the disc is nice. So I think I had to pay 13 pounds all in for this one. Uh, I'll get the disc out for you guys in just a moment. Hold up, is this two discs? Oh, it is. Nice one. So this disc's got very light surface scratching on it. You probably won't even see it. The spindle's all good. But yeah, that looks good there. And it has a soundtrack CD as well. So even if this game's mid, like if it's not good at all, I don't care. Like <laughs> The bonus goodies it comes with is that made it more than worth it. Yeah, I think it's been on the resurfacer at some point, but as you can see here, wow. Yeah, I'm very happy with this one. It felt heavy. A very strong start to this CEX roulette, if you will. Since you know you can't tell if three sex games come in manuals, this one has uh, served me well, so very happy to have this one in the collection. Alright, this one I'm a little more nervous about because, um, depending how it's been done, it's got tape all done side, so I'll just try and cut along that. Um, yeah, this one again, it needs to meet certain criteria for me to keep it based on the weight of it. I am concerned, very concerned. Because it's two items, or at least it should be. Oh, thank goodness. I saw it. I can't open things, like... <laughs> oh my goodness, apologies guys. Um, yeah, I just saw something in here I'm very pleased to see. It should be two items, I think. Oh, disappointing. I thought I saw something. Well, we'll start off with one thing. Put the box down. Let's see if this is what I anticipated to be. This is Pokemon Sapphire version. And it does look authentic. This is one that's been missing from the collection for a very long time. Yeah, about time I finally added this one. You can see it is legit, you can see the number stamped there. Just gonna check up the board. Yep, you can see that it says Nintendo up there as well. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that. Uh, get my mug out of the way. Yeah, you can see it says Nintendo on the board. I will open it up and double check, but this looks like it's uh, been a pretty nice win right there. Sapphire sent me back like 50 quid. And I thought I saw something. Ah, uh, disappointing. Right. It's missing the box. Uh, well, it's going to be Pokemon Typing Adventure on the DS. I bet it's not even got the manual. Well, it's got the manual. <laughs> I guess I was wrong there, but... Yep, £60 for this. Without the box, I don't know. It's got all the inserts. Um, let me just double check that. So manual here. And then the wireless keyboard instructions are present as well. And of course, oops, I have done something stupid here. I accidentally creased the corner. Yeah, I'll show you the game in just a moment, guys. I thought I saw the big box, so I got excited. I was like, dang it. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it. Ugh. And then, put that back in. So yeah, that's that. Not the best look at it in the world. And you've got the DS cartridge here. Oops, my mug. It's actually gonna focus. This is going terribly wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's got the cartridge there. 
Ah, uh, dang nabbit. Alright, I'll put that back. It is in English, at the very least. Make sure it's not Spanish or something. And uh, it's got the keyboard here. The keyboard looks okay. It's missing the battery cover. I'm taking this back. Very disappointed with this one. This was the one I was hoping would have like the big box and everything. It's missing the battery cover like for 60 pounds. I'm not keeping this. Okay, so I'm um, pretty disappointed then to uh, that CEX roulette. Yeah, that Pokemon type of adventure is missing the battery cover. Surely you need battery covers for controllers and that. That's ridiculous. So that's going straight back. Pokemon Sapphire looks to be a nice win at the very least. This one does look authentic in that. I'll confirm that just by opening it up shortly. And the I button Ninja Gang Z was very nice. I'm glad that it's got everything there. It's got the soundtrack CD, the game, the comic, and the manual. So I hear it is a pretty mediocre like hack and slash, but whatever. It looks cool, it sounds cool. I'm gonna try this one out. But uh, that Pokemon type of adventure is the most expensive one because Sapphire was 50, this was 10, and Pokemon type of adventure was 60. Yeah, 60 pounds. So yeah, oh, it's so disappointing. Can't believe it didn't even have the battery cover, so that alone is a credible enough reason. Like, that, those batteries won't even stay in. How am I going to play it? <laughs> ah well, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. And of course, thanks for watching folks. I will catch you in the next one. See ya.